Hey yo everybody, it's David with David Stream underscore. How's everybody doing today? I have some news. Good news. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My mother's actually in the process of actually recovering. She's still in the hospital. She's still not well. But she survived. She was in the hospital not making improvements for about three weeks. She started improving this last week. She's going to be in the hospital for another two weeks. Or three weeks. And she's going to be doing rehab. Um, at this point, I'm going to have to be forced to take a vaccine um there's no choice with all the covid variants out and with the possible repercussions it's not much option um i'm well i'm working full time i'm keeping very busy right now so just keep an eye on my posts i do apologize for being behind as far as i am um but at this point My main concern was that of my families, my mother, my sister, and my nephew, which he is also well. So, whew, feels like a 10 ton weight came off my chest. Um, I hope everybody's well. Leave a comic a comment in the comment section, and like always, keep it real. Thank you very much. by now um as far as i know in the next couple of weeks streaming's going to resume hard and heavy i'm sorry for the delays i'm sorry for everything going on this has been a long journey and i'll explain more in full detail as much as possible let's just say family's important and it's always worth it to actually sit down and talk with everybody and it's better to actually listen to each other and talk it doesn't matter if you don't get along with people it doesn't matter how bad your situation is or how bad everything goes at a point there's a massive point where you have to have to have to sit down and be like this is what it is can we work together or can we not if we can't then you have to make another decision based on that if you don't if you don't sit down and talk with people if you don't sit down and talk with your family if you don't sit down and actually be like what can we do? People don't work well together. People get put in situations that is unbecoming to them. Or your things happen where people actually get put in situations where it's almost untenable to actually work together as a family and it breaks down the family. Um I'm not here to tell people which way to go, but if you have a bad relationship with your family, or if you have a difficult relationship with your family, family counseling is always a good option. Sitting down with a third party, you know, bring some friends into it that are trusted. Uh, sit down in public. It does resolve some issues. And it also does prevent somewhat. It does prevent situations from becoming untenable. Now there are times where disagreements are going to be too much. But that's the reason why boxing rings exist. That's the reason why um, people need to sit down and stop acting this way. Just being honest about it.
personal experience, and I just want to say this too. Most of my employers that I've worked in, I've worked 15, 20 different jobs. Most of my employers have been very ardent about keeping politics out of work because of the stress it makes. There are people who are actively willing to push past those. What do you do with it? You talk with them. You go, hey, you know what? Dude, you're a cool person, but you know what? There's no way you're going to agree with me on this, and why are we doing this at work? We can do this over a drink. We can do this anywhere else. But why are we doing this at work? <clears throat> Set limits. What else can you do? The environment's so divided, so toxic, and so lopsided that people lost, lost, legitimately lost the ability to talk to each other civilly. I mean, legitimately, I was speaking with some individuals outside where they're like, Biden needs impeached. Okay, but what about the things that happened with Trump with the Mueller report and everything else? Did he not need impeached? Oh, but it was fake. Was it? Some of the information might have been true. And on that point, if it was, and Trump did do actions that were unbecoming of being a president or anybody else in his power, would he not need to be impeached? If he exercised some of those things and did some of those things? Just a case in point. The problem is, is people lost the ability to... To be like, you know what? You're right. If those things were true, and if they were, if with any other president, they should have been impeached. It doesn't matter if it was Trump or not. But things like these. When people lose the capacity to sit down and talk, or be like... You know... They're evil. They're this. They're that. You lose the whole part of having communication. It's okay to exist with people that don't agree with you. It's okay to talk with them. But you don't have to pull out a gun and shoot them. You don't have to actually take a fist and knock the shit out of somebody. Just because they disagree with you. Think about this. It's one of those things where I just want to share my thoughts, my feelings, and give some wisdom. This is definitely one of those rougher conversations, but look at the violence rates between people. It's bad. We have to think about this as a whole. If we don't, there's not going to be any improvement. Not at all. <clears throat> Anyways. Serious conversation over. I would love to get back to gaming. Hopefully very soon. I'm very tired, I'm sorry. But, like always, keep it real. Bye now.